I've got January 2024 stats to share with you today. And I got to tell you, I'm in kind of a little bit of shock. I can't believe that January is behind us and here we are. But anyways, um, let's get over that and look into the numbers. So January showed, you know, about an 11.3% increase in sales volume over December. And that is showing a little bit of life, but it's also kind of just a matter of, you know, seasonal fluctuations. We see a little bit more sales most Januarys than we do December, essentially. This is interesting. Um, a little bit more homes on the market, but not a lot, 6.3%. So, you know, more sales, not that many more listings. What does that mean? It means that the months of standing inventory has actually decreased. We're sitting at three months. So that's kind of like a cusp baby, I would say. Um, you know, a really, really solid seller's market is, you know, one, two months. This is kind of like a, still a seller's market, believe it or not, with three months of standing inventory. We get into four to six months, we're in a balanced market. So, you know, what, that, what does that mean? It means that we're probably about to see this go up. Prices have not changed December to January. My prediction based on this, assuming we continue to kind of constrict and tighten, is prices will go, go up. And I can tell you, boots on the ground, that was our experience this month. The return to multiple offers, we saw some things go over list. Um, it feels much more robust than it was in the fall. Moving on, um, what we've captured here is just January over January, you know, where are things going? So. It's nice to see all this green and essentially what we're saying is sales are up 16 and a half percent since last January. Now, 2023 was, you know, historically low. So, but hey, we're seeing a recovery. So let's focus on that. Active listings are up four and a half percent. So the listings have not grown as much as the sales have. Again, that points to this increase in, or sorry, decrease in the months of, uh, of standing inventory, which puts pressure and, and increases prices generally. So last slide for today that we'll share with you is just this kind of breakdown about what's happening in, you know, subcategories in the market. So apartments, you know, up 0.6% in terms of average sale price, kind of flat essentially with 3.6 months of staying inventory. Townhomes, 2.2 months of standing inventory with a, a slight price increase as well. So that's interesting. You know, essentially that meat of the market, the average purchase price in Ottawa, that more entry level price, however you want to put that, has very little inventory. It's essentially in a seller's market. And what happens typically is that market gets tight. That townhome owner now all of a sudden has a budget to buy a single family home. You can see how this kind of trends. So you can see where the pressure is currently. And then single family homes are up 2.1% in average sale price with 3.6 months of standing inventory. So there it is. Um, you know, it's kind of looking rosier. Um, you know, there's some stabilization on the interest rate side. If you really dig deeper, what we're actually seeing is a reduction in the five year fixed rates thanks to the bond market. So there's a little bit of life coming back and we're anticipating kind of a, a robust spring market. So stay tuned.